let's consider the first question. 2x plus 5. Now, good mathematicians always write their answer going downwards rather than across. The first thing you do is you do 2 times the x. Now, whenever you have a number like this and a letter, this becomes 2x. The next step you do is you do 2 times 5, which is 10. So the first answer to the first question is 2x plus 10. So you've times the first number, the, the number outside by the first letter, and then you've terms the number by the last number. Moving on, we have the second question. So for this one, it would be 7x plus 21. The reason for this is because we've done 7 times x, which therefore gives us 7x. And we've also done the 7 times the 3 to give us the 21. Here's another example. We have 9y plus 4. And now you're probably thinking, because it's not an x, what do I do? Well, it's the same principle. This would be 9y. 9 times y gives us 9y plus 9 times 4 which is 36. So the answer to this is 9y plus 36. So if you get the general idea, it's the outside number times by everything inside the bracket. Here's another example. We have 11x plus 11. Now a good tip for these questions is knowing your timetables very well. This would be 11x plus 121. Again, we've times the 11 by the x and then the 11 by the 11 uh, to give us this answer. Hopefully, you guys are understanding how to expand single brackets as the video continues. Now, here's a more tricky example. We have a letter times by a letter. We, in this case, is the x and the x. So you might be thinking, oh, how do I do this question? But it's very simple. Whenever we have uh, a letter times a letter, it's always a squared. It's always squared in this sense. So for this question, it would be x squared plus x. You may be wondering, how is x times by one equaling x. Now, I'll give you a little example here. So if we do x times by the one, this can be written as x over one times one over one. And this would give us x over one. And if you've seen in my previous example, and in my previous video, we mentioned that five over one is equals five. And this same rule applies, which therefore means that x over 1 equals x. This therefore means that the answer is x squared plus x. Hopefully you understand that example. Moving on, we have another example. Now it's y times y plus 3. Now to answer this, it would be y squared plus 3y. Because you're doing the outside times the inside to therefore give you y squared plus 3y and I'll show you how we get that y squared the reason why we why we have y squared is because of this rule in algebra whenever you have a term that is times by itself so for example a times a this would always be a squared another, another example is z times z it would be z squared hopefully that is understandable for you here we have a more tricky example 5x times 
times x plus 2. Now, you might be thinking, we have a number here, a letter here, and a letter here. What do we do? Well, it's the same principle. It's looking back at this example here and this rule. We know that 5x times x would give us 5x squared. Now, 5x times 2 would give us 10x. Hopefully you understand that when you're times you can buy powers, you just add the powers. Another example is x times x times x. This would give us x cubed because essentially it's x to the power 1, x to the power 1, x to the power 1 and we're adding these powers. Our final question is 6x, x plus 3. Using the rule I just mentioned about powers, this is known as the power rule. Using this, this would be 6x squared plus 18x because it is 6x to the power 1 times x to the power 1 and you'd add these two to get the 2. Hope it is understandable. That was a quick video slash tutorial on how to expand single brackets. I hope it was helpful.